Good morning. Uh, today I rise to draw attention to the fact that the state of Michigan will take delivery of the, fish, the official census data today, officially beginning the long and difficult process of redistricting. If you ask the citizens from across Michigan how they want the process of drawing new district boundaries done, they won't tell you that they want a plan that favors Republicans, nor will they tell you that they want a plan that favors Democrats. Instead, they will tell you that they want a plan that ensures honesty, transparency, and fairness throughout the process. Quite simply, our current system guarantees them none of these things. It allows district maps to be drawn up behind closed doors and voted on before the voters ever get a chance to look at them. We can and we must do better than that. I have introduced legislation that would overhaul our current process of redistricting to create an independent commission that would lead our state's efforts. The commission would be made up of nine members, four appointed by Republicans, four by Democrats, and one by the nonpartisan Auditor General. Their charge would be clear. They must hold a series of public meetings throughout the state to give the public an opportunity to learn more about the process and voice their concerns. They can then begin the process of developing new district maps that are fair, accurate, and agreed upon by at least six of the nine members. After that, their plans are sent to, to us here in the legislature for our approval. This commission is based on a model of redistricting that is already in place elsewhere in the country and works well. I think we owe it to our citizens to bring it here to Michigan. It ensures a process that is transparent and, more importantly, it ensures a plan that is fair to all our voters. Thank you, colleagues, and I ask that my remarks be printed in today's journal.